halftime commercial break. And of course, it was award season here on our last episode. And for those of you who don't know, for the second year in a row, fourth total after hours with T.C. Ristani, placed first in the Alliance for Community Media Northeast Region, number one show on planet Earth. <laughs> now, Colonel, for those of you who don't remember the last episode, Colonel Bo Montana down at the end of the couch was down at the prestigious, what was that, the Basketball Hall of Fame. Correct. Uh, you were TC. accepting the award on our behalf, is that correct? Correct. Well, long story short, we had a big party planned in the Big Apple, New York City, for those of you who don't know what the Big Apple is. Myself and all our cast were going to go down in a big stretch limousine, pick your ass up at the uh, Basketball Hall of Fame, and go down to New York City where Sabrina and Dr. McMurphy had the party all set waiting for us down there. And, of course, you got hungry on the trip down there, so we had to go inside some uh, roadside choke and puke diner, and all of a sudden, we go out and stretch our legs. The cops come out of nowhere. Long story short, you get sent to the clink because some homeless guy took your cheeseburger and you went berserk. Correct. That's all you have to say is correct on that. Uh, folks, I'm sorry. You should be sorry out there. And especially, you have to apologize to our executive producer who is not here tonight, Sabrina Champagne King. We gave her the night off because of your antics that you did down there. Sabrina, I'm sorry. If you want... You can fire me off the set. No, no, you're, no, you're, no, 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 you're no, into the no, show no, for too no, much no, money. You no. can't be fired. That's, <laughs> that's all the paychecks you get come this way. But pal. it was a hell of a hamburger. On, yeah. on the well, well, you, well, 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 you, well, you, well, you, well, you don't remember it anyway. No. But McMurphy, you had to come up with Sabrina and bail him out. Yeah, she was not happy at all. She broke two high heels, stamping her foot over the whole scene. Oh. And uh, you're not her most popular, her favorite anymore, Bull. Let's just put it that way. You've and if it wasn't for Johnny no. Fabulous, our new Thank agent God. down here, who pulled some strings, you'd been doing some serious time, Colonel. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But getting back to this, now, I had to make that perfectly clear. We still are award-winning. And just like when the Bruins won the Stanley Cup, everybody on the team gets to bring home the Stanley Cup for I don't know how long they get to keep it for mm. and do whatever they want with it. Well, down here in After Hours, since we are world champions, we're doing the exact same thing. And I would have gotten the award first, but because of the incident that the colonel caused down in Connecticut, we gave the award to the executive producer, Sabrina Champagne Kane. So right now, let's take you via videotape to Sabrina's mansion and whatever she's doing. <laughs> to my home. Such a pleasure to have you. I'm very, very honored that the trophy gets to come to my home first. It is fitting. I am the executive producer. Um, it's been such a great year. We've all worked so hard. I put a lot of work in, a, a lot of late nights. And so we're going to just take some R&R &R together. Trophy and I, we're probably going to go shopping, spend some time at the beach. I'm thinking about having a dinner party so all my friends can see the award. It's going to be great. So just so proud and really so glad that you guys could come stop by and see me. Sorry I couldn't be there, but uh, really nice to see you guys, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome back to Aaron Sabrina here, palatial mansion out there. Now, she got the trophy first, and I thought everybody's going to be going, oh, when can I get yeah, it? Get it. Exactly. Well, the luck of the draw. I have right here the official hat from Back to the Future Part 2 that Monty McFly Jr. wore. You can get these exclusively at BTTF.com. I have all the names of the remaining cast and some of the crew. It's the luck of the draw. Who will be the next cast member or crew member to bring home the trophy? Bull, give me a drum roll. <laughs> Randomly pick it in here. And the winner is... Professor Infestation! Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> After that. <laughs> Professor, what do you think? What are you going to do with the trophy? Well, I tell you, if it's been sunny, I've been out in it. <laughs> Probably deep fried. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So, what are you going to do with it? That's wonderful. We'll probably play the back nine. <laughs> play the back nine. Out there. What? You play golf? Golf? That's an old and or married man's game. We're going to waste your time with that. You don't play golf, do you, no, Doc? No, 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 you don't play golf. I'll probably never see you. You don't play either. golf, do you? No, I don't. And don't know, what we're going to do is we're going to take a big time commercial break. When we come back, <laughs> Aztec Gino will be joining us. <laughs> Thompson and you 
watching After Hours with T.C. Rosani. <laughs> That's the power of love.